What you see here is nothing really fancy. It has to do with 3D animation and a two-dimensional look. It looks a little bit like a cartoon. And many cartoon animations these days are made with a 3D program, like Maya or others. For example, South Park was originally made with uh, a predecessor of Maya, uh, with, uh, which was called Power Animator, a 3D program. And of course, you can make flat surfaces behave like in a 2D world using 3D animation techniques. So, uh, if you have a close look at what's happening here in this scene, the creature, which is like on a skateboard maybe, uh, it's not walking, uh, but it's sliding from uh, right to left, slides between two rows of trees. One row is closer to us, the trees appear larger, higher, wider, and in the very background there's a mountain range. So how do we arrange this? I uh, just want to show you the basic method to do this. Uh, there's probably several other methods. And it resembles uh, the technique you use in traditional cartoon animation. You work with layers. Now let's stop this. It's uh, being played back in F-Check, which is a nice program. Um, this is the scene I have. Uh, I have a camera, and the camera moves from right to left and it sort of tries, I didn't put a lot of effort in uh, into this, it sort of uh, uh, follows the creature here going from right to left and then it loses contact and it just stops. In the um, perspective view the scene looks like this. This is my camera here. Let's just have a look what the camera does. It moves to the left and goes back a little bit. And here is our creature. So this is basically all there is. I created the all of the surfaces here, the trees, the creature, the mountain range and the surface where everything is uh, placed on uh, using NURPS curves and the planner function of NURPS modeling. I'll show you briefly how this works. For that purpose I use layers. I select all the geometry here plus the camera and I create an, uh, a layer from the selected object objects here. And if I toggle V, which means visible, to invisible, it goes to invisible. So that's what I want. Um, now I go to the, well, the front of the side view. Let's go to the front for now. And in the front uh, view, I draw a curve. Go to curves and surfaces. And here you have the hand tool where you can, with your tablet or with your mouse draw a line and uh, for the trees for example I did something like this and the curve obviously isn't closed I need to close it so under the modeling menu here menu set you go to curves and then you have open close uh, watch what's happening uh, when I uh, invoke the command, open close, the surface down there at the stem of the tree will be closed. And now I go to surfaces and create a planar surface. And here it is. And I um, used, uh, as I said before, ramp shaders. Of course you can use individual textures, you can paint on the uh, on the surfaces here. Assign new material, Lambert because nothing needs to be very shiny. Um, where is it? It's the Lambert shader and I gave it a, a ramp. 
and I need to make it visible here. The ramp currently goes from down here from the stem to the top, which is fine. Uh, I choose a brown color here for the stem and I use maybe a green color for the middle. That's my tree, basically. And uh, now you can delete the curves and duplicate uh, the the tree. And uh, that's basically how I uh, modeled the geometry of the alleyway. When we go to the perspective window again, this is our new tree here. We can actually delete it. We don't need it anymore just for demonstration reasons. Um, it's actually quite not much nicer than the trees back there. Um, the dimensions are interesting. When you, for example, scale the mountains in all dimensions like this, make them very big, and then you look through the camera here, uh, and the camera moves like this, you don't see the, uh, the top of the mountains, which is, I think, quite nice to have. But, uh, of course, you can move the whole thing back instead of scaling it down again and you have the same effect but the effect here will be different because now in the geometry you see that the mountains are f much further back because they move slower in the whole animation you see they barely move at all the top of the mountain is here and it goes there very slowly which is a very nice effect which we know from cartoons so Probably that's the better arrangement for the tree range. So it's really, it feels like it's not close anymore. So this was a brief introduction of how to use one of the many ways to use a 3D animation package like Maya to achieve 2D looks. And additionally, I'd like to show you this. Click here to render settings. Now instead of Arnold or whatever, you choose Maya Vector. You have two tabs now. Ch uh, choose the Maya Vector tab and try for example for color and shadows and include edges and the edge weight a little bit higher and then render it. That's a cartoonish look, isn't it?